Hey folks, Dr. Rowe here. Hope you're well. Wanted to share with you some thoughts, reflections on where we're at right now. As I'm recording this, it's January 25th, 2022. Media, you're seeing a lot of coverage at the moment on people going back into the workplace. Nice crowd of people behind me. You know, this whole feeling that suddenly the streets are going to get full, the underground's going to get full. There's going to be an overload on the system. These are questions that are being raised. Even just seeing people wandering around again, shoulder to shoulder, close proximity. Not just a few handfuls of people on the streets, but actually thousands. It creates an emotional reaction in people. And that's really fascinating because what we're seeing at the moment is, as we've had for the last two years, a polarity, a polarizing of people's views. Some people are really resisting going back. Fuck it, I don't want to go back to the workplace anymore. I just like, I just want to stay at home and work from home. Others like bursting to get out. I want to get back into the workplace and I want to go back and meet with people, mix with people, start to reconnect. I feel I can be more productive there. Be interested to see from your perspective where you feel you sit. That said, as many of you know, I work in the field of personal development, interventional work and working with people who have got challenges with anything, any subject that's going on in their lives. And I want to tackle this one because I think it's an important one. So let me put up a few things here. Observations that I'm noticing. So there is a sense of anxiety in a percentage of the population about going back to the workplace. They're anxious about the risk. You know, there's still this underlying fear of, well, what if I contract COVID or am I carry of COVID? Can I bring it back to my family? Is that going to cause problems in the household? Then it might be a rub off conversation with a family member. One of you might be more relaxed about it. The other one might be actually a lot more reserved, more fearful. And so that's causing conflict. Equally, people have got anxiety about just getting back into that space and the face to face proximity. Maybe before lockdown, there was issues going on in the workplace that kind of got removed by going into lockdown, by socially distancing literally in their own homes. And that can sometimes reactivate old emotional uh, anxious things that are going to come up for people. So be mindful of this and understand how you can maybe bridge that, possibly even tackle that head on. Go back into the workspace, press the reset button, use it as an opportunity to come to the table with a new you. I talk about the post-COVID turning point, the turning point that happens in each of us as a result of something catastrophic like this, you know, a national, international meltdown. You've got a pandemic that's pressed the stop, stop button for so many people. But in doing so, everybody's reset and going in a different direction. That turning point is essential. There's certain things you can do now and be now going into that workplace. And that's that, from your perspective, could be a really, let me just get my focus on here, a really valuable way of getting a new sense of direction, but also a new sense of purpose. I'm going to put my glasses on. Hopefully that will refocus. Second thing is, what about the balance? The balance between you being in the workplace versus at home. Have you got used to a certain way of living, a certain time scale that you operate in the day, in the, in the, in the morning, afternoon, and the evening? Uh, how is it going to throw that balance off? That's what I'm hearing people's anxiety. And how, you know, what, if I do this, am I going to lose some of the time I've got? But remember, you're employed and engaged by a company to do a certain number of things. And this is where the whole concept of a hybrid system is now being talked about, partly from home, partly in the workspace, in the office. Some people will argue they're more productive in the workplace. Other people argue they're more productive at home. But then the question is, how much do you get hijacked by this, your phone? other distractions as well? Or is it arguable that that happens anyway in the workplace? So one of the questions you've got to ask yourself is, how can you maintain a certain balance? What are the things in your life right now that are really important to you? I.e. time with your kids, um, you know, exercise, relaxation, downtime, uh, versus being intellectually stimulated, being around people that can maybe uh, connect with you in a different way and stimulate new conversations. And also, how can you bring a different value to the company? Maybe you coming back refreshed is going to bring a whole new balance back to the company in that respect as well. So ask yourself the question about some of these things. Don't be too focused on one specific area of your life. Look holistically and say, I'm feeling a little bit angsty because I feel like I might go out of balance with dot, 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 where. Let's address those specific areas. And then finally, what are the pros and cons? What are the benefits to going back? Often people get a bit, oh, you know, we, we all resisted lockdown or a lot of people resisted lockdown in the start because it's change and any change creates resistance. Now, having had a year and a half, two years of pretty much working from home, now companies are saying, right, we need to get everybody back. Government is saying, get, let's get you back to work. What happens next? 
So what are the benefits to you? So start listing out the benefits to going back into that environment. If you're feeling angst about, I don't know if I want to go back there, you have to ask deeper questions. Is this the right company I want to be working for? Am I still the same person I was before lockdown? Have my values changed? Has anything changed on, my, on a personal level that's making me really review, actually, is this even the job I want to be in? And are you in a position to change job at the moment? If you're not, then you know, weigh up the benefits of going back into the workplace. If you have to have a discussion about the hybrid working concept, I think that could work for you as well. But do think carefully about what are the pros of you going back into the workplace? What are the benefits? What are the benefits staying at home? And can you find a way to get a balance between the two? And then how can you have that conversation with your boss or whoever runs the company and say, is it possible for me to find that benefit? Uh, I mean, think just, you know, I, the first thing that comes to mind for me is the time taken communicating, commuti commuting. Think about the hour in and that. That's two hours a day. That's 10 hours a week. Now, there's 10 hours you could be more productive in your job, 10 hours that you could do less in your job because you're not traveling, you could take that time up in the morning and finish earlier if you're working from home. You might have to do a balance between that. There's an argument to say, well, those 10 hours, Dr. Rose, when I stick my headphone on and I start to listen to podcasts and I grow and I self-study. Brilliant, there's a benefit there. I don't know, everybody approaches this differently, but either way, there is gonna be a shift and there's definitely gonna be, I personally believe, um, uh, some emotional meltdowns, some conflicts at home. I think it's going to put stress on relationships over the coming six to 12 months as people start to try and readjust back into this place. So look out for it, be mindful of it, keep an eye on it, and then check back in and ask yourself some sensible questions about how can you manage it. Hopefully that's useful.